Hey everyone, we're excited here to join you at the Prospect Pad with Reds Outfield Prospect, one of the top outfield prospects in baseball, Taylor Trammell. Taylor, mm -hmm. congratulations on making the Futures game. Mm -hmm. Kind of one of the things we've been asking everyone is, is so how'd you find out and who was the first person that you told after you found out you were headed to DC? So I originally found out, I was actually up north, uh, not up north, but um, I was in Daytona Beach about an hour up north with some family friends and everything. And so I was actually getting a pub sub, a public sub, and uh, I got. I walked into the store and was about to order my food and everything. And uh, our player development operator, uh, Jeff Groppy, had called me and he said, uh, "Hey, congratulations on uh, being selected for the Futures game." And so my heart dropped, and I was just like, "Wow, okay, this is a this is an amazing uh, opportunity." I was I was extremely I felt extremely blessed and just had the chance to, you know, to come out here and you know compete with some of the best. Um, players in minor leagues and so uh after that uh i didn't get the pub sub um <laughs> i was actually really hungry but i just lost my appetite for a second and then i actually uh i ended up calling my mom and my family and uh after that i called my agent al gets mm -hmm. so i mean it's got to be it's, it's got to be an exciting moment because again obviously this is the long-term goal but you're going to be playing in a big league you know big league park mm -hmm. big league environment a little taste of something of, of kind of what's hopefully to come absolutely yeah i'm, I'm really excited for it um, and you know, they're, they're treating us uh, like we're big leaguers too, and it's it's pretty cool. You know, they got some you know fans outside and everything chasing us and everything. We're staying in a big league hotel. Yeah, too, and we're know. staying in a big league hotel too. So, I'm I'm very excited. You know, this is giving me a taste. It just it just makes me, you know, I, I don't want to say the you know way of wanting it more because I do want it very much but it just it just shows like okay this is what you're working towards and this is the ultimate goal so this year so far I mean mm -hmm. has there been a highlight for you is there a, is there a moment that's kind of kind of stick with you if you're looking back on this year you know five ten years from now you know or how, how, how have you felt like your season's gone so far I feel like it's gone pretty well um, I think um, probably the biggest highlight of my of this year probably was um, we were playing Lakeland and um, I, uh, we're facing their starting pitcher. Uh, I'm not gonna say his name, uh, but yeah, we're facing their starting pitcher. And I ended up, um, you know, we were down a, a run. And we were down two runs actually. And um, T.J. Friedel gets a base hit, drives into, so the game is tied. Mm -hmm. And I think it was in the eighth. And so T.J. he gets a triple. Um, and so I, I, I never forget. You know, I was, I was up to bat, and you know, I could just hear him cheering me on and everything. And um, you know, I swung through a you know a hanging curveball, and so I was just looking dead fastball at that point. And so he hung another curveball, I ended up hitting the right field and getting the job done for our team. And I can just hear TJ, you know, clapping and everything, um, coming home and everything. And that was that was the biggest moment for me because it was like, um, you know, I love when I get a chance to get the job done for my team. And um, at that point, I knew that my whole team had my back at, in that at bat. And so. Uh, we ended up a few weeks later clinching the playoffs, and that that probably is uh, it's extremely fun. You know, when you get that job done, when you get to win. I mean, we've been we've been winning this year as a team. Um, you know, I, I'm really excited for it. But that that probably was my biggest highlight this year. Kind of with that, with your swing. If you mm -hmm. look back at your swing, say junior year of high school to now, yeah. I mean, are you going to see? Are there, if we're looking at both of them, are you going to see some significant differences or has it pretty much been what you are, kind of what you've been, you know, or, is, or do you have to make some adjustments? There's some slight differences. Um, I know for me, uh, the biggest thing was, um, you know, keeping my head still um, and staying short to the ball. So whenever I'm in trouble, I'm long, getting my foot down late and moving my head way too much. And... I know whenever I'm simple, um, I can tell if I'm locked in by the way I take pitches. So, and that's one of the things that's always been kind of one of your one of your assets, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, you you have an understanding of the strike zone. I do. You're not going to chase, mm -hmm. and if they want to walk you, hey. Yeah. So when you can I, do some stuff on the bases. Yes, yeah, sir. So whenever I'm, uh, uh, it, it, one of my, I get a little bit frustrated at times whenever I'm swinging at bad pitches because I know that, you know, I'm not. I'm not dialed in. So whenever I'm, um, I, I just whenever I'm in, I'm getting my foot down and I'm staying locked in right here. So my load is my biggest thing whenever I'm, you know, seeing pitches and or anything like that. So it's a, I have a blast whenever I'm at bat and I look at four pitches and I walk. That's that's my, 
you know, that's like a home run to me. You know, I feel, I'm like, okay, there we go, there we go, I'm dialed in. He has to come to me now, 3 Next time up, yeah. Next time up, he's going to have to come to me. I'm not going to chase anything because I know that he's going to have to come to me because I've shown him that I'm not going to chase any pitches. So um, from junior year to now, I think the biggest thing was my junior year, I would load up like this, and then I would go after the ball. Now it's just here, simple, 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 get ready, and attack. And so patience has been key and everything. So I've, I've really, um, that's the one thing this year I've really, uh, you know, tried to hone in on and uh, understand better. Right, because again, that's a big, that's a big part of your game. Mm -hmm. The other part is, is defensively, you know, I, I keep hearing positive reports about, you know, just getting better and better out there. Mm -hmm. How do you feel like you're kind of coming along defensively out in the outfield? A lot. I think I've, I think I've come along very well. Um, I think that my coaches uh, have done a great job. Uh, this year of helping me become a better defender, Alex Pelias, um, Desi, Ricky Gutierrez, you know, they've, they've, un they've told me, you know, your athleticism and your natural abilities are going to just, they're just going to take you so far. You're going to have to understand how to read defenses, how to read the, um, how to read pitchers, how to read um, swings off the bat. And that's the biggest thing this year that I've seen a, a huge difference because there's balls that I didn't feel like I would get to at certain points, but I ended up getting them, getting to because and you wouldn't I wasn't have gotten to in the past. In the past, because I was positioned the right way, um, I got ready in the right position early and everything. So, you know, that's the biggest thing. You know, everybody can play at this level, but it's it's what you do outside of the field, what you do between pitches, that helps you out to become, you know, that better player. You know that. Uh, excuse me, you know, that, that top player right there. So that's what I'm really focusing in on right now. I, Tom Verducci had a great story about Mike Trout, Mike Trout, best player mm -hmm. in the world, and he's doing this like, mm -hmm. hey, i got to be better on my first step than I was. I mean, yes. that's something where it's, it's continual. It's mm -hmm. something you'll never, you'll never master it all the way, will you? Yep. No, no, no. And I, also another thing is, you know, working my right side. Um, you know, I don't, well, sorry, my left side. Uh, I, I don't feel like I get as good of a jump on my left side rather than right side because I'm always – running to the right <laughs> so um, going from the left side I feel like that's uh, something I'm, I really need to work on and for anybody who's watching really batting practice is key you know it's a long season we play 140 games but your batting practice is where you get better because you're seeing live balls off the bat you're seeing guys hitting balls with you know you can read the wind mm -hmm. the wind is huge I've you know I've gotten home runs this year off the wind just you know just carrying the ball, hitting the ball hard, and just winning, caught it. Uh, other guys have, you know, balls that have been, you know, probably, you know, singles end up being triples, you know. So, you know, reading the wind, uh, reading all this other stuff, it, it helps out. The other thing with that is it's also, it seems a lot of football players, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's a different, your body has to be a little different for football mm -hmm. than it does for baseball. But if you're throwing, it, mm -hmm. it's something where a guy, you know, I've seen multiple guys, the throwing gets better and better because now you're having a chance to kind of, re you know, you're just working on baseball. How do you, how do you feel mm -hmm. like throwing-wise where you are now compared to, say, when you were in high school? When I was in high school, my, I felt like my arm was, you know, a noodle. Um, <laughs> that's, the, that's the simplest way to put it. It's still not where I want it to be. I'm really, you know, focusing on, you know, every single day, you know, trying to get, you know, backspin on the ball. I feel like I've had really good throws this year. Um, where I've gotten on top of balls and I've seen that, you know, flight path mm -hmm. on the ball and, you know, holding runners on. You know, I'm not trying to throw anybody out or anything like that. I'm just trying to keep that guy from going to the next base and giving the pitcher a better opportunity of not giving up any runs. But, well, again, we're looking forward to seeing you tomorrow at the mm -hmm. Futures game. We're looking forward to watching you kind of, you know, steadily climb the ladder, you know, on, mm -hmm. a, on a young and improving uh, Reds team. Yes. So, appreciate it. You know, Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank appreciate you. Appreciate it. Thanks. Mm -hmm.